Hey everyone, it's Jordas here. It's here we're back at the the trans another Transformers review. This time I look at Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Jaxus. Now I found this at the local Walmart at from Seymour while I was tripping in Seymour. So I actually never got one so until now, so I was like, why not? So I got this one at the Walmart from that Seymour. You can find the fact. <laughs> See, here's your Haxis. Now this is a, I think it's Sears 1. I'm correct. That was Sears 2. Now this is a same package of the rest of the other figures. Now this is the same package of the Transfer Legacy line. This came out from 2022. Nice little window box. And sadly, there's no window box. We actually is a little there. What's this kind of disappointment? There was a comeback of the window box coming next year, according to that. So this is made by Hasbro Dakar from 2022. This is Asian Punch. Oh. So here's the package. Yes. And it's on the side, we got a nice little artwork. Shows the artwork of the image of the Seticons. There's kickback, there's skywork. I didn't get it, skywork. There's a drag strip, I will get that. Uh, Ignite Disco one, uh, Megatron is on the top one. On the other side, we got a nice little image of Jaxis. Or Jaxis, what do you want to call it? I'm sorry, I'm going to mispronounce. I apologize, and I apologize, I mispronounce. It's Jaxis. G A H I A X U S. Jaxis. Not Jackson, Jaxis. In case you're not familiar, Jaxon, he's a character from Transform Generation 2 from Marvel Comics, not the anime series, which is the use in Generation 1. This kind of sucks. And on the back, there is no re-up. There is no bio. It says 23 step. Shows a robot mode, vehicle mode. Shows a little text to scan. And it's made by Hasbro from 2022. So, let's take... Oh, wait. No, that was 2021. My bad. No, that was 20, 2022. So anyway, let's take it open up. Let's take a look at Jaxis out of the box. Alright, we're back guys with Jaxis out of the box, out of the package. Now he is a Cybertron jet mode. I had no idea what kind of vehicle is that. I believe some kind of jet. Now if you read the Generation 2 comics, you probably recognize that this character is. Jaxis became the main villain from Generation 2, not Megatron. He looks really nice. It looks more yellow or white plastic. This is a jet. This is a little hollow, this one. And his wings are green. It's weird. It's got a transverse plastic. It's in a cockpit. And you can see, and he actually got his. Actually, in front, he has a Seticon logo. Now, this is based on Generation 2 Seticon logo. Well, I really like that. And there's a transverse plastics. Sadly, he does not have a landing gear. Zaro. Yes. Now, his weapons, it comes with, so we'll take it off, it shows a peg holes. And this other one, yes. it comes with weapons. One for his, he looks like one for his blaster, which is just a gray and plastic, translucent plastic. You can see that. And his other weapon, his big old guns, red guns, this is a red plastic. Yeah, it looks kind of very similar. It looks... This looks very similar. Let's try to focus on... Can we focus on... This looks very similar to the shotgun. He looks very similar to the Master Chief's rifle from Halo. Looks kind of similar. With it. Now, as a vehicle... Now, as for transform to Jaxis, or Jaxis, I think it's pronounced it. First, you do this on, on here. You can see there's wings here. Let's start unpeg his... Now, see the little this connect here. There's a little point. Is closing, trying to close it. 
Now what I first do is close wings and do like that. Now do it exactly the same. Try to unpeg. Uh, oh, sorry, right. Gonna unpeg it. Gotta be careful of that. Now close. Next to you is next up is to start unconnect. Start unconnecting the sticks like connect. Let's take them off. Oh gotta be careful. I don't wanna break this. And it's gonna snack connect. Now it's now you can see there's connect here, pig here. Now let's do what you do Oh wait, first so rotate this ankle. Do it exactly the same. Did I put the wrong? Yeah. Okay. All right. Continue it. Now let's move on to the back here. Let's sort of rotate. There's an upper torsor. Now let's open this dark connect here. So also rotate around. So back versus head, and that. Oh, before that, you also get, you also bend it up. And of course, you have to close it and connect. This and that. Now, here's a slot connect in here. So here we go. Now, Open, oh, dang it. <sighs> Wait, that's the wrong. Lastly, let's start opening it and close it, doing the same. And that's about it. So here's Jahaxis in his robot mode. Now, this figure is stands about. Seven and a half inches. What kind of size compares later on? Let's take a look, focus on the figure itself. The head still looks really nice, looks pretty looks accurate. Now he's not from the anime series, he's from Marvel Comics. I like how his helmets are red. I like how his shoulders are some kind of shoulder cannon that has a green red device on the shoulder. The rest of the body looks nice. I like it has a Sethicon logo on the show. Little tiny details. Not much in the back. There's no back here. There's a little connect here. I think overall it looks nice in detail. It's like what? But the rest of the body is just, the both legs and arms are just white and hands are gold or yellow, incorrect. Now the weapons I mentioned hold his weapons just like that. So that's a oops. Here are nines of dual wheel guns as well. For size comparison, here's next to Leader Class Optimus Prime from the Earth Rise. I think it looks pretty nice the same size the rest pretty much the same size the figure in this needs large. Now, as for articulation for Jahaxis, it does get head to rotate, but his head is a little loose. Kind of looks like loose. His head to rotate 360 degrees. Kind of a little loose. It's kind of, his head, the head joint is kind of loose. It's just weird. And his arms goes up and down. Goes in and out that much because of his transformation. He has a bisocial, then the elbow. Rotate his wrist to rotate. And one of the coolest thing, his hand movement. He does get finger or hand movement. 
finger articulation. Looks nice. It does have swivel waist. Waist can rotate, swivel. It's leg is forward and back. It goes in and out that much. It has a thigh swivel. Then in the knee, it's equal to side to side. So that's about it all articulations. So there's my review of the Transfer Legacy of Vorja Class Jaxis, or Jaxis, they just pronounce it. Overall, I think it's probably the best one was from Legacy Line. I never know who the heck is Jaxis. I never heard, so I got this one of Jaxis. I never heard of this him and never heard of him. He's from Generation 2. So until now, I got this one for now. So he is probably the best looking in this. It's got a printing articulation. It's got a hand articulation. Overall, I think Jahazic is probably the best one of this one, all the compared to Legacy line. Yes, I don't have Legacy RC, which is kind of a little decent, but the articulation is kind of awkward for we'll some time in the futures. Overall, I think it's a pretty high recommend. I mean, you're not familiar with from Generation 2, or you're a fan of Generation 2, I think it's a high recommend that I'll check them out. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this one. Be sure don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.